Let's talk not physical, not physical. Let's talk not physical. Let's talk not physical. Let us have some spirit talk. Some spirit talk. Let us have some spirit talk. Yes, so what I was saying is, you know, we, we've been taking a hiatus of working together, but I've been any every day when I when I do my meditation and I try to connect with energy, um, you know, I'm always um, looking at my visual field, seeing what's being produced. If I don't see anything, then I try to imagine things. So I'm always working on it. Um, and one thing I noticed, and I think um, I was, I, oh yeah, I sent you that link to that video. Um, now the video wasn't particularly helpful, but the comments to the video were interesting. So the video was about how the guy was saying that if you meditate a lot, you might start seeing colors, you might start seeing things. Um, but you know, he doesn't explain you know how long it takes or what exactly is happening. But in the comments, people were like, yeah. Oh my goodness, I meditate and I get all these crazy visualizations. And, and of course, you know, you might want to reach out to some of these people that commented, but but what it suggests to us is that at least part of successful practice is is mental state. So just being, you know, relaxed enough, shutting off um, you know, the thinking part of your brain, those kinds of things may may help some people. I don't know about you. It seems like with you, you can be almost in just a regular state. So what do you what do you think about that? Do you think that there's like a like a mental state that that helps you or it's pretty much random? You, I mean, you mean a mental state that helps you see colors? Yeah, or or just helps you visualize like, for example, when you're more relaxed or you're more sleepy, does, is there anything that affects that for you or is it pretty much random? You close your eyes and you're like, okay, that's a surprise. No, no, there, there are several factors uh, weighing in. But the thing is, there's not a particular entrance, let's say. What works for me might not work for someone else. And you kind of need like maybe a, cat a list of things and then there may be something on that list that works for you and you keep working on it. Like when we've done like the visualization, obviously you have a strategy that, that you've used to get really good at it. But then as I started pursuing things, I started with your strategy and then I'm like, well, maybe this other strategy is working better. And then I start focusing on that and that seems to help. So it's kind of like there's no one secret technique that works for everyone because our brains work differently, our souls possibly work if you know may work a little bit differently so we so there while there is commonalities there, you know that we'll start to notice between everyone it could be that the doorway that we walk through like you said in the end it's all going to be the same but the doorway that we walk through may be a different one and so if we want to be able to win over we want to be able to get everybody successful we kind of have to figure out what works for each person we may find that there's a certain number of techniques that um that then cover a wide range of people. But just saying, oh, this is the technique that works for me and I met God and we had fun. It's like, well, that's great, but I don't know if that translates to everyone. 